Hello everybody, I'm Jonathan Scott. And I'm Patricia Cara, and we have lots of exciting stuff tonight from Coco Taylor, Mark DiCarlo, who else do we have tonight? Jim Belushi, Joe Montaigne. And hot dogs and Italian beef. We would invite you to, to celebrate with us as we celebrate Chicago food, music, culture, and the, and the spirit, spirit of Chicago. Chicago. So stay right where you are. We hope you have fun as we celebrate Chicago. Visit the old neighborhoods with our stars Jim Belushi, Shelley Berman, Mark DiCarlo, Tom Dreesen, Joe Montaigne, Joel Murray, Gail O'Grady, and our special guest of honor, the Queen of the Blues, Miss Coco Taylor. At a celebration of Chicago culture, music, and food, all on Windy City Memories. We're at the Chicago Party Alliance and we're talking Windy City memories. What are your Windy City memories? Do you live here? I live here now. I used to live in Chicago. What part? Memories, north side. Yeah. Uh, I like the north side. Uh, Wrigley Field, Billy Go Tavern, you name it. As a kid, I heard about the great west side of Chicago. Great My west side. And he corrected me. Yes, it's the great west side. If you, if you don't know it's the great west side, you're an anti-Semite. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and my dad grew up on 15th and Lawndale, and... Uh, oh, was... my God. Oh, my God, just a neighbor. Yeah. And I'm, may, I may be old enough to be your father. <laughs> <laughs> you may be my father. I, that's right. That's right. I grew up in Chicago, so I grew up in Wheaton, Illinois. I go back as often as I can. So, in fact, I'm, when I'm done filming right now, I'm heading back to Wheaton kind of reconnects you to the spirit and energy of Chicago. The other reason I'm here is because uh, the Lifetime Achievement Award to uh, great blues, queen of the blues, Coco Taylor. And, uh, I got a blues band, so it's really exciting for me to be uh, here and uh, present this award. I grew up in Wilmette, Illinois, north of Chicago on the lake there. Beautiful North Shore, went to Loyal Academy High School. The Ramblers, always love that. Our team is named after men who stay out late and drink and leave their wives. That's what a rambler is, right? Or it's a car. Or a bad car, yeah. Great place to grow up. Played football. Captain of the football team in Loyola, leading the musical. Not too many guys that did that. Hello there, we're doing Windy City Memories. So first let's discuss, you're from Chicago. I'm originally from Chicago. I was born uh, in uh, West Rogers Park. 2002, I produced Bleacher Bums for Showtime which was, uh, we bought the rights from Joe Montaigne, who I just saw down the line, and we made that film. Uh, it was kind of a poem to the fans of the Chicago Cubs. What part of Chicago? Arlington Heights, suburbs, northwest suburbs. Suburbs, yep. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Fondest uh, Windy City memories? <laughs> Meeting my wife. That's Meeting right. Wife. Is that yeah. We're both from Chicago, and we, uh, we got engaged and running down Michigan Avenue and yeah. taking a carriage ride. Yeah. yeah. We're and we, it's, we it's the best. Uh, even though we moved here, we went back and got married there. You did? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah, absolutely. That's the best story I've heard so far. Oh, yeah, that, yeah we, we got married. Ride, we took a carriage ride from the church, St. Michael's Church. In Old Town, Chicago. To Michigan Avenue. We took a carriage ride, and it was, and then our, our, she was Cinderella. She yeah. still was Cinderella. Yeah, and our reception was at the Drake downtown, and it was incredible. So we, there was no way we would, no offense, but we wouldn't get married here because we're both from Chicago. <laughs> Uh, Northwest Side, Von Steuben High School. Oh, Von Steuben, yes. Go Panthers. My father. Descendant. Yes. Des direct descendant. Hello. Yeah. Uh, any yeah. I'm from Glencoe. Glencoe. Any Windy City memories that you'd like to share with us? Anything we should know about? <laughs> I always go back to Chicago to check out my friends over at Second City. It's the best entertainment you can possibly get in the world. Yeah. And what is your um, fondest memory uh, in Chicago? Oh, I grew up on Oakley Avenue in the Italian neighborhood. Uh, I ran the Court Theater at the University of Chicago for many years and the Hull House Theater, and I was in Second City in the, in the 60s, long time ago. Those are... Yeah, well, 40, 45 years ago. So um, it's a great city with a lot of heart, and people are friendly, and they really mean it, and I love that about Chicago. 
let's start with uh, neighborhoods. I grew up on the west side. I grew up around the old, um, well, the old Sears Roebuck was at Holman and Arlington, uh, Garfield Park area. Went to uh, Gregory School, Grammar School. Then went to Mother Cabrini. My mother went to Marshall. My father went to Gregor. My brother went to Austin. So we kind of covered the waterfront there. And it was later during my high school years we moved to uh, we moved to uh, Cicero. The lovely uh, garden spot of Illinois, uh, Cicero, where I went to Warren East High School. So I guess you'd have to say I was West Side. I was pretty much West Side. By you? I'm South Side, strictly South Side. Uh, grew up in Harvey. You know, went to uh, I went to uh, Catholic school, Ascension Catholic school, and I went to a public school, Bryant. Then I went to Thorn High School. Uh, all my brothers and sisters went there. Several brothers went to Joliet Prison. I had an uncle. <laughs> Yes, I think a lot of us have, 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 have relatives who went to college, as we like to say, uh, at various universities, uh, Joliet included. And, and very, you know, how many how many can say you had someone in your family got out of college for good behavior? Yes, exactly right. And you know, you put your four years in wherever you need to do it. Some do it at university, some do it at college. Everybody, this is Patricia again. I'm here with Bob Schwartz, and uh, Bob has been uh, with the Vienna booth over there. There's one of the sponsors. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a great time. Yes, we have. Tell us what you've fun. been experiencing tonight. Well, I've lost my voice already, and we've been hawking hot dogs and talking Chicago. And people from Chicago, especially the ones that aren't there anymore, are very, very passionate about their hot dogs and about all oh, yeah. their food. <laughs> no dogs. And talking about Chicago hot dogs. And Vienna beef is is synonymous with Chicago's hot dog. We saw the line that was here. That You should have seen the line for the hot dogs. LA people are deprived of Chicago food, <laughs> of Chicago hot dogs. Yeah, you know, I kept thinking about the hot dogs. Isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. Or the Italian beef and sausage, juicy with sweet pepper, with green peppers, and a little bit of a uh, hot sauce. And I have to tell you, we had people dragging it through the garden and putting their own condiments, and of course, no ketchup allowed. Chicago style hot dogs, not allowed. Okay. And the guy that stole the show was Shelly Berman, who knew exactly how to put those condiments on, and it was a work of art. Loopy's <laughs> hot dogs was the first hot dog that I had uh, on 12th Street on Roosevelt Road near the Central Park Theater. So I used to deliver pizzas for Odo's Village Pizzeria, okay, California and Peterson. I've never made more money in my life than I made working there. That was a popular spot with uh, Mather High School right there. Right, but what was really good on Saturday nights, I used to deliver to the bars and they were drunk and they didn't know they were giving me $5 tips instead of a dollar. Now $5 then is about 35 bucks today. My dad sends Giordano's out on dry ice about um, every other month. Yeah, you got the stuffed pizza at Giordano's. Pisano's is good. Definitely my favorite beef. Uh, it's got to be Al's Beef on Taylor Street. Yes, and the Italian ice place across the street. That's a great lunch. If you want to have a 6,000 calorie lunch, you go to Al's Beef on Taylor Street. You have a beef sandwich with hot peppers, and you go across the street, and you have a little <laughs> Italian ice, and then you're done for the day. It's a place called Chuck Wagon in Wilmette, owned by a Greek guy, Sam. They've got the best euros as well. They've got a great hot dog, but the euro is, it's about a 11 pound euro. It's enormous and uh, you need about 25 napkins. Well, something you get hot peppers too. And so you put it the sauce on the hot peppers. So it's just great. And, um, and the celery salt on your hot dogs. She's going all out. Poppy seed on your bun. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite foods? Favorite foods, I love Thai food, I love um, Giordano's pizza. You gotta love Portillo's, baby. Oh yes, like Douay's pizza. Yeah, Uno's or Douay's. The favorite Chicago food is Taste Chicago in Burbank. Taste Chicago in Burbank. Yeah, uh, uh, Joe's yeah, place. So we're talking Chicago in Chicago. I'd say Portillo's. I gotta Portillo's. say Portillo's, yeah. Well, Portillo's and, and, uh, and actually Lou Malnati's pizza too. Lou Malnati's yes, pizza. yeah. Uh, Manny's Coffee Shop has the best corned beef in all of Chicago. There's no better place to be on the 4th of July than Taste of Chicago in Grant Park. And, you know, I've been to like 350 cities doing this uh, Taste of America on the Travel Channel. And all this, every city in America is cool and has its own thing. But? There's something about Chicagoans and uh, you meet them on the street. 
I, I, people will come up to me in airports because they know I'm from Chicago and just go, Go Cubs! My idea of a great day in Chicago, a great day, would be like getting up in the morning in Chicago, say staying at the, uh, at the Sutton Hotel, which is right on Rush Street, you know, or the Ambassador East. They're both great hotels. Get up and, right, and, and, and you go over to the Lux Bar and you have breakfast. After you have, you know, where all your buddies meet with all the guys, after that you head for Wrigley Field. You watch the Cubs win a ball game. You leave there and you go down the Rush Street. You know, first of all, you go across the street and have a few beers at Murphy's Bar. Then, then you go down the Rush Street and you have dinner either at Gibson's or at the Tavern on Rush or, or at Carmine's if you want Italian food. Or go over to Little Italy Rosebud, you know, Tuscany. I mean, there's so many places you can go after, after a game at you know, Wrigley Field. And then you meet some girl in one of those places, you know, and, you know, have a little a few drinks and you take her back to one of those hotels and you have a wonderful evening and then you leave her there and go back out on Rush Street and meet all your buddies and have a few beers. That's what I call <laughs> Another it. Another girl. <laughs> that's, that's a perfect day. A perfect day in Chicago. Uh, bears, Cubs, Bulls. What do I miss the most? I miss the most four seasons. I miss. They have a hotel. Here. I, <laughs> That's a beautiful uh, hotel. Oh, cheap what a cheap I'm shot! Just, everybody's I'm looking sorry. for it. Everybody's <laughs> looking for a straight man. <laughs> <laughs> Not with you. Don't I, apologize. You, but. I miss the Art Institute where she and I met. I at where we were studying the theater, and uh, I was busy becoming a human being. I miss all that. I miss the Compass Players, which gave birth to Second City. We were the origin of Second City. So people think I'm Second City, and I don't deny that, I'm, since I was part of that thing. The people. The people. Food second. Food second. I miss the change of season and the holiday time. Do you miss Chicago? I do, I miss it a lot. And I, the times that I've been back, and I'm going back next week, I've been really impressed at the improvements in the city. I think Dick Daly Jr. is doing a, a wonderful job. Twin Acres ribs, mainly. Uh, I miss sitting out of Wrigley. Oh, I did bleacher bums. We went, I went to almost every game that season. That, that was 89. That was a great season, good year with Mitch the pitch. But we did the play and somebody would invariably leave tickets for the cast at the, the box office all the time. Uh -oh. And you? My father's mom's uh, uh, the six championships the Chicago Bulls won. Hi, I'm Daniel Yabit from Roll Bounce and Rush Hour 3. And uh, Chicagoan, you said, right? Yes, I am a Chicagoan. I just moved here about a year ago, but I love Chicago. Came to support everyone out here. You know, it'll be great to see everybody. Do you miss Chicago? I love. I miss Chicago a lot. I'll be there next month. Uh, what favorite baseball team? Favorite baseball team? I'm a White Sox fan. We got the Cubs. We got the Bulls. We got the Bears. We got a lot of fun. So apparently, you're a big sports fan. Go figure. Well, sports <laughs> and hot dogs goes together. Uh, Bears. Cubs, Bulls. Gave up on hockey about 1976. I, uh, I haven't been on the, the Blackhawk wagon, but uh, either have they. Yeah, still Cubs fan, Bears fan, Bulls fan, all of those are good things. And I grew up here, but I'm a huge Chicago sports fan. And Would that be for the Cubs? Huge, huge. Couldn't tell there, we couldn't tell. It's hard being a long distance Cubs fan. Or a, or a Chicago fan. Chicago fans are like no fans in the world. Well, good to see you, fella. How about those Cubs? Very happy about the Cubs. Very sad about the Bears, but very happy Ooh. about the Cubs. Ooh. Although we have to say, I don't know about you still, but Sox fan. Oh, Sox, Sox fan. Sox baby. Southside girl, always Southside girl. <laughs> Tell us, what are your Windy City memories? I have so many Windy City memories. Most of them kind of belong to watching the Chicago Cubs or the Bears or food. But I mean, I could go on forever. I mean, I'll never forget the 2002 Cubs playoffs, like leaving LA and going there for a week. I mean, it was just amazing. I am really a Southside guy, born and raised in Southside, which brings me to a terrible part in my life. Being a Southside guy, everybody around me were White Sox fans. I'm a Cub fan. There you go. And you know, 
Yeah, and that must be really hard being south side. Now, right. I was west side. For us, it was jump ball. In other words, you never knew. The guy next door could be a Sox fan. The guy over here could be a Cub fan because you're west side. We're like geographically somewhat in the effect. And we're a little more south than, than north. So, I mean, you'd think I'd be Sox fan. One day, as bad boy, Rick Suffolk was pitching in. Unbeknownst to me, he was pitching for the Cubs, but he wasn't pitching that day. Unbeknownst to me, he had blew a bubble with his bubble gum and stuck it on the back of my hard hat, and I had to wear a hard hat as a bad boy. And he said, oh, you left the bat out there, and Mark Grace had thrown a bat out there. So, and I ran out with this big bubble on my head. Now, everybody in the stands is pointing at me and laughing, and I'm, my ego, I think, they recognize me as a comedian. They're laughing at me, and I'm, I'm waving. And it was on evening news with me with this bubble on my head. Mark, uh, DiCarlo here is uh, performing tonight. Yes, my band Old Blues Eyes. We're playing with Coco Taylor, the queen of the blues, and uh, we're, we're fixing to rock, is how we say it back home. Would you give a nice round of applause to Vienna Beep, Southwest Airlines, Jim Beam, Budweiser, Columbia College, West Coast, and the State of Illinois Film Office for their support. A nice round of applause for all of them. But in the meantime, what I'd like to do, if you will, ladies and gentlemen, today, we're going to give an award to a wonderful lady who's, she turns 80 years old this year. She's been entertaining us for years and years and years. She, she is Chicago as well. Uh, but to present that award, would you welcome, please, a young new actor who just got his start, Mr. Jim Belushi, if you will. Thank you. Thank you. B.B. King is the king of the blues, Aretha Franklin is the queen of soul, and George Clinton is the master of funk. Coco Taylor is the queen of the blues. At a time in Chicago when men were dominating the music scene, along came Coco. She stepped up, established a career, and held her own, matching the male artist record for record and hit for hit. Wayne Dang Doodle will always belong to tonight's honoree, after decades in her profession, with all the triumphs and trials that come as her career grows, she becomes immortal. This lady shows no sign of stopping. She had a gig last night in Phoenix. Will you please welcome to the stage Grammy and Handy Award winning recording artist, American musical icon, world famous legend, inspiration to everyone singing and playing this art form today. Here's the one and only Queen of the Blues, Coco Taylor, ladies and gentlemen. Want to say anything, Coco? I sure do. I got a lot to say. I can't say. I can't say thank you and every one of you that's responsible for this award. I can't thank you enough. I am so honored to receive an award this beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Come on, Coco Wait. Taylor, ladies and gentlemen. Shake it, but I don't. We got so good, so good. 
I'm Jonathan Scott. And I'm Patricia Cara, and we've been rocking the house here. On behalf of Windy City Memories and all of our great celebrities and sponsors, we want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Next year, see you here. Catch ya. Come on, come on. Come on.